Hi, I'm Nathan Tannenbaum with these stories from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Monday marked the first scheduled discussion between Governor Jim Gibbons and Nevada lawmakers about how the state's going to deal with ongoing budget shortfalls. The governor has asked Nevada agency department heads to put together reports on how they'd pull off spending cuts of 6, 8, and 10 percent. Look for the full report in Tuesday's print and online editions of the Review Journal. Now that a judge has thrown out the felony case of misappropriating state college fund money, Lieutenant Governor Brian Krolicki is ready to get back on the campaign trail. I think the judge said it very well. This should have never been in a courtroom. You know, this whole ordeal has been absurd from the very beginning. Uh, the whole legal premise has confounded those who study these things. But, you know, I'm just delighted that it's over. The Krolicki family got a, an early Christmas present, and I think a well-deserved one. That clip from the Nevada Newsmakers program broadcast last week. Review Journal political reporter Ben Spillman has more Tuesday, including the Democrats vying for the chance to oppose Krolicki next year. As lawsuits linger over the exposure of upwards of 60,000 patients to hepatitis C from alleged unsafe practices at some Southern Nevada endoscopy centers owned by Dr. Deepak Desai, the Review Journal reports Tuesday on what the Southern Nevada Health District is calling its final report on the subject, including an estimated total cost in the neighborhood of $20 million. When a teacher at the Northwest Career and Technical Academy was accused of making classroom remarks denying the Holocaust, the Review Journal reported that she was put on what the school district described as home assignment. Even though the district's on winter break, education writer Jim Haug is following the story with word that a group of Las Vegas Holocaust survivors is also keeping track of the incident. From the Review Journal business section, why would the American Cancer Society want to sue the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority? Business writer Valerie Miller reports it's all about the 2009 session of the state legislature and a specific bill that apparently eased smoking restriction in convention areas. The story's in print and online Tuesday. Vegas Land columnist Doug Elfman writes Tuesday on his recent conversation with Motley Crue's Vince Neal. Are you going to tour it? Yeah, we actually start in Mexico uh, uh, middle of February. Really? Yeah, I, I, I have two weeks of dates with Motley, uh, end of next month, into the beginning of February in Canada. Look for the entire video and Doug's column in Tuesday's paper with all things Elfman at lvrj.com slash Elfman. Your weather, well, first of all, welcome to winter. It arrived Monday morning, and on the way to Santa's big day, the National Weather Service is calling for another chance of rain in Las Vegas with another Oh, so slight possibility of a snowflake or two, but don't hold your breath waiting for a white Christmas. We've never had one in the entertainment capital of the world. Looks like 2009 is going to be no exception because after the storm rolls out of here, cool daytime sunshine, some frosty starts into the holiday. So Santa's going to want to bundle up. For breaking news 24-7, you're at the right spot. ReviewJournal.com.